Hello and welcome to the New Indian Express Online. I'm Bansi Kadapa. With me is a very celebrated former bureaucrat, now turned politician, Mr. Sheshikan Senthil himself. Well, Mr. Senthil, welcome on the show. Thank you, sir. Now, during your oath-taking ceremony, you actually uh, said these words, stop the shameful attack on minorities, Dalits and Adivasis. What were you thinking of when you said this? You know, uh, you know, when I went into the parliament, yeah. as I uh, sat on the central hall uh, a day before, mm -hmm. uh, the most, the only image which was coming to me was uh, uh, Bhagat Singh uh, trying to attract parliaments, uh, the central assembly's uh, ears mm -hmm. uh, to a particular uh, viewpoint by mm -hmm. throwing bombs. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking that I am here, mm -hmm. I don't have to throw any bombs. Mm -hmm. I just have to open my mouth and just say what is not being heard. Mm -hmm. And hence, when I took the oath, mm -hmm. I articulated and mm -hmm. said very clearly mm -hmm. that we have to stop these shameful atrocities against minorities, Dalits and Adivasis, mm -hmm. which I thought uh, was uh, the right thing to say mm -hmm. uh, because I felt it had to be said. Okay, uh, you have been a former bureaucrat, you have served in the IAS, you were an IAS officer in Karnataka state itself and you have served in one of the most polarized areas of Karnataka that is in the area of Dakshin Kannada. Is there some particular communal violence which you have been very ashamed about? See, first of all, I am ashamed about many things. It's not about the violence, but I am very ashamed about the kind of politics mm -hmm. that uh, we uh, started entertaining in this country, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is absolutely, you know, we don't teach that to our kids also. Mm -hmm. But now a political party, uh, the BJP has brought in uh, that politics as its core ideology mm -hmm. in which it tries to pitch people against people. Mm -hmm. And I think it is absolutely unnecessary mm -hmm. to win an election. You know, you can win election in many other ways. Mm -hmm. But what fundamentally this politics does is mm -hmm. it f spoils the social fabric, just been very built on, you know, in a very difficult manner. Mm -hmm. So I am absolutely ashamed about the politics that we have been entertaining. Mm -hmm. Other than that, all criminal incidents, violent mobs and other things are absolute you know, uh, some things which you can't even, uh, you know, begin talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are all uh, a kind of uh, um, an extension of mm -hmm. this politics. Mm -hmm. And uh, there has been so much of hate injected according to certain leaders. They say there is so much of hate in the polity now. But how do you really neutralize that hate? Because it's already there in the system. Hate uh, within the within the within parties. within the political system. Uh -huh. So now you know uh, uh, I don't even think it is hate. Mm -hmm. You know what uh, what these part this party is trying to do is to instill a lot of fear mm -hmm. inside people. Uh, in fact, uh, Rahul ji spoke about that in his first speech mm -hmm. that how different categories of people have been made more fearful. Mm -hmm. The women have been made more fearful by price rise. Mm -hmm. The youth have been made more fearful by no, not uh, getting them jobs. Mm -hmm. So 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 and so and so. Mm -hmm. But the point is, uh, uh, the fear is something which uh, which pushes human behavior in a certain way, mm -hmm. and that is seen as a very good emotion to evoke for uh, voting. That's how it is working. Mm -hmm. But I think on the contrary, mm -hmm. now to overcome this, mm -hmm. uh, if anybody, mm -hmm. even the Congress party, mm -hmm. which tries to instill happiness, love, affection and you know, camaraderie, mm -hmm. we will have to work 10 times more. Mm -hmm. than To that. undo that. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's how uh, these two things work in a society. Mm -hmm. Today, if I say there's a bomb in this this building, mm -hmm. half of them will run away and they'll even shout and take the other half. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how fear spreads. Mm -hmm. But if I have to say uh, somebody is good, mm -hmm. that doesn't spread like that. You know, mm -hmm. that five more people have to come and tell that person is good. Then you mm -hmm. go and probably tell mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, maybe that person is probably good because so many people are telling me. Mm -hmm. So the way goodness and badness 
mm. or the fear and hate spreads light and darkness yeah it mm. spreads inside inside the society is mm. very different okay so for that for goodness to spread mm. one has to work 10 times more than what mm. the other person does so you have been associated with mr rahul gandhi who is now the opposition leader what is largely the strategy of mr rahul gandhi uh, you know in taking the people along and in fighting hatred see congress has only one strategy it mm-hmm. had from that time onwards mm-hmm. we were not very oracious speakers or narrative creators or we don't do all those things mm-hmm. we simply walk mm-hmm. we simply walk along with the people mm-hmm. standing with people in their issues is politics for us mm-hmm. and i think largely rahul ji has tried to do that mm-hmm. from the bharat jodo yatra that he started mm-hmm. he started walking with the people standing mm-hmm. in their issues mm-hmm. today he is meeting every section of people mm-hmm. trying to empathize with them staying with them giving them hope and confidence mm-hmm. and that is our primary strategy and we don't have anything you know some very magical kind of strategy to come and you know mm-hmm. uh, do caste equations and all that congress doesn't believe in all those things mm-hmm. you won with a very massive margin you won i think with about 5.72 lakh votes which is i think one of the highest leads in uh, tamil nadu and i think after mr the great mr kamraj i think this is the next highest lead so are you in the mold of becoming another mr kamraj for the congress no uh, in the sense it's too uh, too big a comparison mm-hmm. you know i am very i am taking baby steps into politics mm-hmm. and uh, kamraj ji for his uh, age and his mm. time mm-hmm. uh, even today mm-hmm. congress is not there in power for the last 50 60 years yeah. but even today mm-hmm. everybody talks about kamraj governance absolutely that is his legacy mm-hmm. we are not even you know in his footsteps mm-hmm. but what i would certainly try and do from my side is mm-hmm. you know i want to break this this framework the so called framework that we have formed for politics mm-hmm. you know a politician should be like this he has to behave in a certain way like this mm-hmm. he has to not to take you know any criticisms so all these frameworks mm-hmm. i think i i am it's my personal will and project to break mm-hmm. these structures mm-hmm. so that more youngsters can come into mainstream politics i mm-hmm. feel that is a fundamental problem which has happened in the last 50 years mm-hmm. that many good people have left this space you know and my father never told me to become a politician and neither mm-hmm. you know i have not seen any of my friends do mm-hmm. but then if everybody goes away from the space mm-hmm. what remains there is to be taken mm-hmm. so i think mm-hmm. my personal project will be to you know convert or break these frameworks which keep people away from politics and you know make it much more easier for them to approach mm-hmm. when you quit the ias in karnataka you quit after you were dc in mangalore did you ever dream of becoming a member of parliament no no absolutely no mm-hmm. not even my political party was not in when my the fathers of my realm mm-hmm. but then it happened mm-hmm. uh, and uh, i am extremely happy mm-hmm. because from the background that i come from mm-hmm. uh, getting to school and you know graduating itself was a big thing for my father mm-hmm. you know for us he never gave us that pain but i come from that background where you know one generation before there was nothing with us mm-hmm. you know but for me and for my people and my village to think that our boy has reached parliament is a huge thing nationally do you think the congress will revive because the congress has been ailing for the past almost 10 years now we see the congress you know getting to this number that it has reached at least it is it has the official opposition party status do you think the congress will revive nationally see i personally i am not very worried about numbers mm-hmm. you know uh, electoral victories will come and go that's not the way i think a political party should look and mm-hmm. i don't look at that as an indicator mm-hmm. but what bothers me or what i would really want the congress party to do mm-hmm. is to you know kind of stand with people in their mm-hmm. issues mm-hmm. you know if congress party stands if the congress party starts walking with the people mm-hmm. if congress party is in the forefront of the fight mm-hmm. that i think would be uh, absolutely gratifying for me and we are all working towards that mm-hmm. we know uh, the election and those things 
we don't work towards elections mm-hmm. it, it it will happen mm-hmm. but w- you are very right organizationally we have become a little weak mm-hmm. but congress party has always been going through these ups and downs mm-hmm. it will revive it will revive with a lot lot of strength because this time we are facing an ideological challenge and that is when we come back with a very strong cadre mm-hmm. so it is we are on the process and in my opinion it has already happened a large extent are you happy you made the switch from being a bureaucrat to a politician <laughs> no absolutely see more, more than anything else i am happy that i am in this fight mm-hmm. there is a big ideological fight in this country i am mm-hmm. extremely happy to be in this fight mm-hmm. rather than sitting in one side and you know trying and crying every day that look something is happening i'm not able to do anything mm-hmm. even in my resignation letter i wrote the same thing that you know mm-hmm. at this juncture i am better off going out and fighting you rather than sitting inside okay so there it is mr sheshikan santhal quitting the ias and then he was he didn't immediately join politics he went through a period and then now he is a member of parliament from tamil nadu it's been a long journey for him and uh, how he moves and in the coming days we will have to uh, see and how much of hate and fear uh, that he is seeking to fight how much of it can he dispel we will have to wait and see with camera person nagraj gadekal this is bansi for the new indian express online